Hey guys, welcome back to Just the Board again. Today we're going to do a quick video and review on installing this pet door. Uh, it's for a sliding glass, as you can see there. And this is what it came with. I just pulled it out of the box, so pretty straightforward. But I'll run you through it real quick. And that's all the hardware that it came with, so hopefully that is everything. I'll check the manual right now. But uh, let's put it together and we'll do a quick overview and review of it. Here we go. So hopefully the lighting's okay, and sorry about the noise, the dogs are drinking water and circling me like sharks. But let's get this put together. So first things first, there are screws already in here that we'll need to take out on both ends. I already removed this side. Now let's go ahead and take these off. You don't need to use a drill or anything. I'm just doing it because it's a little quicker. Next, we're just going to put or slide these together. And we're going to put the screws back in. And down here, just make sure that everything is lined up so the holes should be lined up. Let's get the camera back, sorry. You don't need to get too crazy with it when you're tightening it. And now I'm gonna do the same on the other side and I'll be right back. So what we're gonna do next, now that we put those two pieces together, you're gonna go ahead and test it out. You're just gonna essentially dry fit it on here to make sure everything is correct, uh, that it fits well. So he's gonna go ahead and open the door. And what you wanna do is you wanna insert the top part first because there's actually springs up there. So when he pushes up, the door springs up and down. And when it's in, all you do is slide it over. Let's go back some. I know he's kind of in the way. But you slide it over. And there you have it. There's the top. There's the bottom. The door's still on at the bottom. The dog's outside. But now that it's dry fit, let's go to the next step. So the last piece I was talking about that I'm not gonna put that came with the door is this locking mechanism. So it claims that you can either put it on flat, which I can't on mine, because of the rail and excuse all the dirt, or you install it like this. And the whole point is that this latches into your door, you're supposed to make a hole. I don't wanna penetrate my door because I don't know what's behind this, whether it's glass, or what kind of damage it'll cause. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna go ghetto and old school. And I'm just gonna get, use a good old wooden stick and just cut it to size to hold my door in place. So easy as pie for me. So I'm more or less done with my installation. The only thing I need to do now is cut my wood. And get some not insulation, but some weather stripping right there. That will cover my door and I will be set. So let me get that going and I'll give you this final view. And then we'll review the door. I figured I'd show you real quick for the, uh, the weather seal I'm gonna install. So I went to Lowe's and I bought this stuff from Window Seal. Uh, it's up to you what you wanna buy. I just bought something cheap. I didn't wanna spend more money than what I needed to. So it cost me about $3.50 or so. Uh, comes in a roll like this. It's not very thick, but thick enough. I believe it's a half inch or three quarters of an inch, sorry. So all I'm gonna do now, and just to show you quickly, let me pull this a little closer, is it has a, it's already sticky on the inside. So all you literally have to do is stick it 
where you want it. Okay, so I ran it all the way down. So now when you get to the bottom, all you gotta do is quink a simple snip. And simple, I would say, if I had some sharp scissors. But that's it. Now you can actually remove this backing if you want. I recommend it. And you're set. So let's put it up. All right, folks, so there's a the finished product. As you can see, the insulation, or not the insulation, I'm sorry, but the seal, the window seal I put in there worked out really well. It's just foam, like I said. There's no gaps, no light coming through. So it worked out really well. Now for those wondering, well, what happened to that rubber seal you saw at the beginning that came with the door, let me show you. So there's that rubber seal that it came with. It's just a really thin strip of rubber. As you can see here, it's just super thin, but it helps. So I added it on the outside as well. And then it already comes with self-adhesive tape. So yeah, good to go. I mean, the door seems like it's really well built. Uh, can't complain, really good glass. I mean, it's pretty standard for most stores for the most part, but uh, this one did have really good ratings on Amazon. And let me go back inside here. And time will tell as well with how well it holds up. But right now, we'll see, because it is 110 here, the weather's hot. It does come with its door here. And I can't find it, there we go. Warning label, this is magnetic. So it does seal back up. We got the large because our pooches are kind of big, but figured we'd give them a little bit extra room. So overall, I'm pretty pretty pleased with it. And the material seems like I said, good quality. Time will tell how well it holds up, especially here in Arizona with this heat. Uh, I think as long as it's sealed well, you should be okay. So get that extra window seal or whatever you can to fill the gaps. Uh, but yeah, overall, so far, the, the ease of installing, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, maybe 8 out of 10, just because I did want to have, I did have to buy that extra uh, insulation, not insulation, I don't know why I keep calling that, that window seal, just make sure it seals well, uh, so easy install, uh, the dogs haven't tried it out yet, that comes next, try to train them to use it, but overall pretty happy. And uh, hopefully here six months down the line, we can do another review and talk about where it's at and what we think of it some more. So we'll catch you next time. I'm Joseph Bordigan. We'll make another video. Later, guys.